Uh oh, it looks sunny outside. Yeah, it's really sunny outside. I need to go put some sunscreen on my tattoos. One sec. Okay, I think I'm good now. Ah uh, shit, I forgot to do my backside. So let's talk about the best sunscreens we can use to stop the sun from destroying our tattoos because the sun is your tattoo's number one worst enemy when gone unprotected and unnoticed. And if you want a perfect example of this, just go ahead and look at your average construction worker's tattoos and you'll see how faded out their tattoos are. Now, I've done my research and I've experimented with many different types of sunscreens and the big problem here is there are so many different types of brands that all have these confusing labels. It makes for choosing something so simple become so damn hard. But I am here to tell you all the important information that you need to know and hopefully after watching this video, you'll have a much better understanding on what is the best sunscreen to use to protect your tattoos against the harmful sun. So now let's talk about the three main types of sunscreens that you will find in stores and probably use for yourself. So the first one that we got is our lotion sunscreens and these are the lotions creams that kind of rub on and into the skin. Next at number two, you have your sprays and these are pretty self-explanatory. Now, sprays are often people's preferred choice as the application is quicker and easier. And then you got your third, not so common sunscreen and that is these sunscreen sticks. And these look like deodorant sticks and act in the same way as you glide it on the skin. But now, like I said earlier, these sunscreens have a lot of confusing labels and wording on them. So now we're gonna knock off one of the main ones and that is broad spectrum. So broad spectrum means it protects against UV radiation. And this is super important for protecting your tattoos. Now, there are three types of UV rays. You got UVC, which we don't have to worry about as it's absorbed by the ozone layer. But we also have UVB and UVA rays, which do enter the atmosphere and are the ones we need to be cautious of since they are the ones that are damaging our skin, especially those UVA rays as they enter the skin layer deeper than the UVB. It is actually able to hit the dermis layer. That is where your tattoo and the ink sits. And in that is able to go ahead and break it down, causing for damaging and fading. So pretty much think of UVA rays as your natural laser removal, obviously just without that physical laser. So whenever looking for sunscreens, make sure to look for something that says broad spectrum, UVB, UVA protection, Sometimes it says one, sometimes it says the other, sometimes it says both, just make sure it says one of them. So now let's talk about SPF because this is the one thing I believe everybody looks at first when buying sunscreen. Now, SPF stands for sun protection factor and this is that big bolded number you see on the bottle and in the simplest of terms, SPF means it's how well it protects your skin from getting a sunburn. But here's the thing, I feel like everyone just goes and looks for the highest number they can find and think that's the best one. And I'm here to say it isn't, or at least isn't as much as you think. Contrary to what people might think, SPF 30 isn't twice as strong as SPF 15. While SPF 15 can block out about 94% of the sun's rays, SPF 30 only blocks out about 97%. And that is only a slight 4% increase for double the SPF. And if you look at this chart, you can see how differently rated SPFs work against blocking the sun's rays. Yes, technically using a higher SPF does help in blocking out more rays, but as you increase in the SPF, the amount of rays that you are blocking only goes up slightly. So my recommendation to everybody out there is to use nothing less than SPF 30, but after you get around the 50, 60 mark, I think it's kind of pointless to go anything stronger than that. And I feel it's just a money grab in a way. But if you obviously want to go more, go more you can. Now, just like how we are trying our best to protect our tattoos to make them look their best, we got to do the same for our body, our face, and our balls. And for that, we got to thank Manscaped, today's video sponsor. You like that transition, eh? But hear me out for a quick moment on how you can save 20% and get free shipping. So next week, I will be dropping my full chest video, and this is one of my craziest tattoos yet. But while I was away in France, I made sure to bring a lot of my Manscaped products with me because I learned after my trip to Dominican how beneficial it was to have all the products. Now, I did bring with me and use the Lawnmower 4.0, and after this trip, I realized what a great trimmer and trap trimmer this can be now i obviously used it to trim my area down there you don't need a picture of that but i also used it to trim my chest but day before the tattoo appointment i was meeting a new tattoo artist i wanted all my tattoos to pop and look their best so i trimmed everywhere that i had a tattoo which is pretty much my whole body at this point and this did a great job so it just shows me it can be more than just a ball trimmer it can be an actual trimmer on your body as well and because it is wireless waterproof and it has a long lasting battery it meant i can use it wherever on the trip and i didn't have to worry and the best part about this all is it has that anti-lock feature so it means that i tap it three times and in the bag it's not going to turn on and i'm going to arrive at my destination with a fully charged ready to go trimmer now because i was on vacation i was doing a lot of sightseeing and that required a lot of walking in the heat 
and thankfully I was able to have with me the crop preserver just that kind of make everything down there feel a little bit more fresher and because of the anti-chafing that was key to making me enjoy my overall trip and days just a little bit more. Now whether you are traveling this summer or you're kind of staying put it is still summertime and that means everything on your body needs to be looking feeling and smelling its best so go to manscaped.com use the code ink that is I-N-K-E-D to get 20% off plus free shipping and you can be summertime ready yourself. But now let's get back to sunscreens and talk about one of the biggest factors I believe there is when choosing a sunscreen for your tattoos. And that is choosing between mineral sunscreen and chemical sunscreen. Now, mineral sunscreens include ingredients like zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, which are these small particles that sit on the surface of the skin and act as a physical blocker by deflecting the UV rays away. Think of it as like tiny little mirrors on your skin. Now, these are great for immediate protection against the sun, but they do leave a white mist on the skin, which can transfer onto other things and it can get messy, which means it does wear off a little bit faster and frequent reapplication is needed. On the other hand, chemical sunscreens allow UV light into the skin. Once the UV light is absorbed by the skin, the chemicals in the sunscreen create a reaction with the UV light in which the UV light is then converted into heat and then that heat is dissipated in the skin and throughout the body. Now chemical sunscreens are quicker and easier to use. They don't leave that white film that a mineral does, but they do all or most of them include an ingredient called oxybenzone, which is something that you might want to kind of watch out for. And also because chemical sunscreens take about 20 minutes to kind of be effective, a lot more planning and thought needs to go into using them so they actually do their job and protect your tattoos and the skin. And then the last main thing I want you guys to look out for when searching for sunscreens is just to make sure that it is water resistant or sweat resistant. Now most sunscreens nowadays have this in them and it's usually followed by a number telling you how long it'll last for, but I don't want you to be fooled by that number. Usually when you sweat, go swimming or do anything act, you're kind of wearing off that sunscreen a little bit faster than you would if you were just stagnant. So if you are doing anything like that, make sure you are reapplying it more than the time it says on the bottle. Now there are many other things that are listed on these sunscreen bottles that can be beneficial, but to me, I don't think it really changes the effectiveness of protecting your tattoo. You know, hypoallergenic, non-greasy or whatever else it says. These are definitely bonuses, but I don't really think it changes much. And I think that should be just a deciding factor on whether or not you want to buy it or not if it has all those extras. Now I'm sure everybody is wondering what type of sunscreens do I like to use the most for protecting my tattoos and what would I recommend? And the honest answer is I can recommend a specific brand or a specific sunscreen because I go by the properties and the situation that I am. But I do like using SPF 50. SPF 30 is perfectly fine too. I always make sure that my sunscreen say broad spectrum just because I want to protect myself against that UVA ray that is digging deep and hitting the tattoo and breaking it down. I also prefer to use lotion sunscreens just because I know exactly where I have put it on. And also I don't feel I'm wasting as much product as say the spray cans, although these are good for something easy and fast. But I will also say I love having these sunscreen sticks. I carry it with me everywhere I go and they are good for that emergency situation where you just need to put something on quick. You have these in your pocket, you just go and you put it on. Perfect, I'm telling you, get one of these. And as for mineral and chemical sunscreens, I actually use both. Just depends on the situation that I am in. Personally, I do like using mineral a bit better as I know exactly where I have put it because it'll show in that white mist and because it works instantly. So for this, I'll use it when I go for walks or I'm out outside just chilling or I need something fast and effective. That's the best part about mineral. But if I do know I have some time for the sunscreen to settle in or I'm being active and doing something like swimming or running or anything like that, I will go about chemical. Also, I will choose chemical in this situation where I gotta either dress up, go driving in my car, or you know, wearing nice clothing or social events or anything like that. That white mist from the mineral gets everywhere. It doesn't look pretty. So chemical is the better way and cleaner way to go. Now I do have some sunscreens listed in the description that is worth checking out. They are the ones that I kind of like to use, but I want you guys to remember this. The best sunscreen is the sunscreen that is used consistently. So make sure you are using sunscreen every two hours. And if you are being active, sweating, swimming, make sure you cut that down even shorter to maybe about every hour and your tattoos will be protected and they will look great. 10, 15, even 20 years down the line. Now I want you guys to go ahead in the comment section and let me know what type of sunscreen do you like to use and what do you look for in them. And then also, like I said, I got that full chest video coming next week and that is a tattoo you definitely want to be here for. So subscribe if you are new to the channel and I will see you next week.